more classified files have been obtained from Joe Biden's private office and now today his private residence. But what is in these documents? Okay, so President Joe Biden. But he used to be Vice President Joe Biden between 2009 and 2016 under uh, the, the Obama dynasty. Now, the issue that we have is that the mainstream media are talking about these files that have been obtained. We're going to talk about them. But it's, they are talking about it in a, such a professional and impartial and objective way. They simply say, well, we've just discovered some files that have just been in his private office and private residence. And some people clearly had access to them despite being uh, classified. But there is no outrage, which is quite fascinating when you compare it <laughs> to the Trump situation. Now... At the end of all this investigation, we could probably see a difference between the Trump files and the Biden files in regards to how they found them. I get it. But <laughs> in reality, the media already had outrage when it came to Trump before knowing anything. So the whole, but the first phone call that someone got some journalist, they already started the outrage. Whereas with the Joe Biden, no, no, they're not even questioning him. So Joe Biden has come out. To say his response initially was, well, I don't know what's in the document. So that's <laughs> that's a good start, Joe. Although, knowing Joe Biden, he probably actually means it. He genuinely probably doesn't remember. <laughs> that's the, This is the president of the free world. Okay, so that's, that's the reality. Now, he also says that I was surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office, to his private office. Now... One issue is what came out yesterday and, uh, and earlier this week uh, because they found this, the, the first batch in November in his private office. But earlier today, we found out they found the second batch <laughs> in his private residence. And he doesn't know. Apparently, he doesn't know or he doesn't remember. But I do say, I mean, if we go with a joke, that could also be true that he doesn't remember. But he might actually also not know because we know that he doesn't call the shots. It's people behind him who are running the show. So he could genuinely be ignorant. So, But I'm not saying it to give him some sort of leeway to be like, oh, no, he's clearly a good guy. No, not in that sense. But there could genuinely be a situation where they didn't really give him a heads up because they don't trust him. So the files so far, the first batch we discovered that there are secretive files on Ukraine, on, UK, on the UK, and on Iran. So the problem we now have is imagine if this was Trump. They would have declassified. Firstly, the, the files with Trump are declassified anyway. Now, with these ones, the situation is, if it were anybody else, they would have leaked it. They would have leaked any information that they had. But, of course, they're not doing that. If it were WikiLeaks, maybe we would have found something. But considering the three main countries that have uh, sensitive documents on them are the Ukrainian government, the British government, and the Iranian dictatorship. Hmm... I don't think these are good files, uh, Joe. I don't think, we, if we have ever find out what the details are, I don't think it's going to end well, which means we're probably never going to find out the truth. So don't be too surprised about that. It is interesting to see that uh, when it comes to the, the second batch, again, this is the BBC headline. Everybody's just uh, talking very, very impartially, very professionally saying, well, we're just going to write the headline, second batch of classified Biden documents found. That's it. Now, imagine, as I said before, if it were Trump, if this situation involved Donald J. Trump, the headline would have said something else. It would have been more exaggerated. It would have been more dramatic. It would have been perfect clickbait because that's how it's, that's what it sells. But no, we're not saying that. We are finally seeing some professionalism from the mainstream media. <laughs> it's not it's not professionalism. It's their own bias. It's about how, what angle they're taking. And it's about who they are targeting. We One day we might find out what sort of issues that they discuss. But we, I don't think we're ever going to find out the truth, the real details of these sensitive files. Because they are still classified, I guess. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break. I'll come back in half an hour with more updates. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.